A few days ago, Apple released macOS 14.2, and in my opinion, it seemed to be a small update, but it did provide much needed security and stability improvements, including some new features and changes that Apple actually promised us that will be coming with macOS 14. I did a video on it. You can check it out on the channel or in the description of this video. The purpose of this video that I'm now doing on macOS 14.2 is to show you some of the new settings that are here all thanks to the new point two update of mac os 14 sonoma if you open up your apple music right there and then you go to the settings where it says music and then go to settings now under this section the general tab you can see there's this new section that says use listening history and when you turn this on you can see that music played on this mac will appear in recently played and this won't just be for this mac it will be across all your devices that you are signed in using your apple id or your synced library device id which you can see right here i'll probably have it censored but also, if you turn this on, it means that uh, recently played mixes will also be influenced by the music you listen to. It will influence your recommendations. And if you set up an Apple Music profile, it will be seen by your followers. So if you don't want to have the music you listen to on this Mac influence what you see on your other devices, you can turn it off and then that way it won't be a problem. Or if that's something that you want to do and keep your music uniform, irregardless of whatever device you are listening to, then you can use listening history and the sync library will basically pick that up. You go into your settings and you go to your Apple ID, you notice contact key verification. If you click there and you try and enable contact key verification, it will tell you all about contact key verification and put simply contact key verification is uh, like encrypting your iMessage so that your iMessage that you send to someone is able to be verified that it's going to the actual person and not being intercepted along the way. So it's basically like uh, a handshake that it does. And if you want to click here where it says continue, you notice it will tell us and look according to all the devices that I have on my Apple ID because this is supported on the Apple Watch, it's supported on the iPhone and on the Mac as well. So here it's telling me my iPhone 6S is not updated and it won't be able to be updated to the latest version. So for this reason, it won't be able to support this contact key verification because the iMessage version or iMessage app on it won't be able to support. Now, if you don't want to turn it on from your Apple ID and you want to turn it on for a specific person or chat, you can basically just go in the messages or in the chat of that person. And then if you go all the way down, you click turn on contact key verification, you notice the same pop-up shows up here and you basically it's a, like another way or another method you can use to turn on contact key verification for a specific chat, which is something that's good. Under the pictures, new wallpapers, we have all these like hello, metallic green, yellow, and then orange. And these are the new wallpapers that have been added from the new iMacs as well as the MacBook Pros. You can see Pro Black has been added right here. And if I set it as my wallpaper, this is how it looks. And of course, the previous ones have been carried over as well. And this is how the new ones look if you were to set them up. For now, I'll just keep it on this Pro Black for the MacBook Pros. If you go here and then you go to where it says Control Center, a little bit down the road, you can see under Music Recognition, there's this Shazam logo that was acquired by Apple Shazam. Now, if you go here where it says Show in Control Center, you can see if you click this tab right here, Shazam is not there, but the moment you enable this and you activate your control center, you can see music recognition is rise right there and if you want to show in the top menu bar as well you can enable it right there and you can see shazam or music recognition is right there in the top menu bar i typically don't like to keep this cluttered or with a lot of stuff so i'll remove it from the top menu bar but then i'll leave it in the 
here in the control center and if there's a song that's playing in the background that I'm trying to identify or recognize, I can click there and then recognize it quickly or click where it says start listening and it will basically begin shazamming if that's a word and it will also show you your recent history that you've basically shazammed or you've tried to recognize and if you want to delete stuff from your history you can basically do that from there so this is one that i'm going to keep on but just for the control center another setting you might probably want to change if you go to your privacy and security right there and go all the way down where it says apple advertising now i actually didn't know that this was on by default but you can see this section that says personalized ad and turning off personalized ad will limit apple's ability to deliver relevant ads to you and but it will not reduce the number of ads you receive so if that's something you want to turn off you can turn it off right there so that they don't really track you to the core and uh, another setting under this privacy and security that I wanted to show you that you might basically want to turn off has to do with analytics now you can see my Mac is sharing a lot of analytics and those include uh, Mac analytics Siri and dictation and then with developers so basically this one I like to turn off and it actually needs my uh, passcode to be able to share this and I you typically don't share iCloud analytics because you know the more analytics you share I think it's going to affect your max performance in the background because then every time there's a crash or there's something that's happening or you want to report it will always bring a pop-up and something will be running in the background if you want to I, I typically try and improve Siri and dictation since I rely on this quite a lot and share Mac analytics because Mac OS as a person that shares and does beta testing this is something that I use a lot in conjunction with the feedback assistant app so this is one of my best friends right here so those are just some of the other settings that you might want to change now also when it comes to a few other changes that you might want to know of when it comes to Mac OS 14.2 check your updates your application updates you can see recently i updated my mac and a few of these apps were released alongside mac os 14.2 so final cut pro uh, imovie motion compressor and then logic i haven't yet updated but i will do that and also alongside this mac os 14.2 there was a new pro video formats that was updated as well so if you haven't downloaded that you can always download it by going into your system preferences and then downloading it from there now also in in this app or in this mac os update if you are a person that uses the clock app quite a lot i'll be happy to let you know that apple has added new clocks and they've made it so that you can quickly add timers and you can see the layout a little bit updated now here you can see the presets that you have you have all the way from one minute to two hours and if you want to create a custom timer give it a name and then you start you see it right there and then you can select another one or create another custom one and then you start it right there and you can see the multiple timers that it's creating i'm not sure how many like what's the maximum you can have going simultaneously at the same time but it's good to see that this is getting some love as well and another section that got some love if you're a person that likes to change up things on your mac is the widget section so if you go to your widget right here and you go to the weather section i'll be happy to let you know that the same sections that came on the ios 17.2 are here so you can see we have two new different weather widgets and right here if you want to change up the settings on your mac or change up the way you look you can see for example this one will show us more of a weekly view and if i want to glance at the weather right here you know i can just put it there and then 
every time I unlock my Mac, I'll know, okay, tomorrow it's gonna be rainy, Friday, Saturday, those are the lows and the highs, but yeah, there's new sizes and new weather widgets that have received some love when it comes to this Mac OS 14.2. Now, also another thing that has been updated, if you go into your settings and then you go to where it says keyboards right here, if you are a person that uses a number of keyboards and you change languages from time to time or you speak different languages i'll be happy to let you know that apple has made some fixes to the simplified chinese and also semi support has been brought back like it was before so that's something that's good when it comes to this and if you change or i want to add a language in the settings you can always do that from this section now also, Find My has received some love and some updates. You can see basically when it comes to Find My, there's a new pop-up screen that tells you what you can do and basically tells you that you can share your air tags, you can find AirPods and their case. Those are the new AirPods that have recently been released. And it's good to see that AirPod 2 is giving this some love. Something else that recently changed, if you go into your settings and then go to general and go to here where it says Apple Care and Warranty, you'll be able to see your different devices. But this used to be be called just coverage but now it's called Apple Care and warranty and basically it's a section that shows you which device have the maybe one year warranty or devices that have Apple Care Plus still ongoing and if you want you can always pick and set reminders so that you don't run out now Basically, those are some of the very few settings that I hear when it comes to Mac OS 14.2 that you might want to look into. Music did receive some love. I like the new weather changes. So if those are some of the things that you want to change and you didn't know about, well, here you go. And uh, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video pretty soon. I've uh, began testing Mac OS 14.3 in beta as well. And I recently did a video on that and the same machine that I use on a daily is the same machine that I basically run these betas on so that I get a feel of how stable or how buggy these updates are. So if you want to support the channel, subscribe and follow along as we tackle these updates together. Now stay safe and I'll see you in the next video pretty soon. Peace.